Hey y'all, this is Brandy from Southern Crafts DIY and I want to say hey to all my returning viewers and welcome to any new viewers. So, what we're going to be doing today is we are going to be making <clears throat> a little scene that you can set up in your house. I think it's going to come out looking really great. I cannot wait to do it. It's going to be like a beach scene. So, to start off, I'm going to go ahead and show you everything needed for this project. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is a bag of sand or sand out in your yard if you can do that. I just figured bag of sand, make it easy. Um, you're gonna be needing some paint. You're gonna be needing white paint, some light blue paint. You're probably gonna want some black paint too if you wanna make the birds like I'm gonna do. I just forgot about it till just now. So also black paint. You're gonna be needing <clears throat> One of these boards or something close to it. This is one of the two packs, the two packs of shelves you can get at Dollar Tree. I use these a lot when I make my signs, so you're gonna need that. Or like I said, something close to it. This is the longer version of that same thing. I'm gonna be using this. You can also use something different as long as it works with what we're doing, and that would be this metal decor lighthouse we're gonna be using this so if, like I said if you don't want to get those or can't find those something that would work with this <clears throat> you're gonna be needing some shells and then of course glue I'm gonna be trying to I'm gonna be using spray glue and hot glue all right y'all let's get started I swear I never remember this I don't know why you'll also be needing spackle and a sander and sand paper either the paper or the sanding block for this project also yeah I don't know what's wrong with me I was about to start without even actually showing y'all so the first thing we're gonna do of course is the speckle I do not know what's going on in my head y'all at all so We're going to go ahead and spackle the four holes. So we do not need them. You see how we don't need them. We don't want to keep them. doing this part like this just to smooth it out a little don't really need to do this if you don't want to that way I could pick which side I like better and go from there So now once that dries, we can sand it and be ready for the next step. All right, see how I've never used one of these longer ones before? I forgot you gotta spackle them too. You're not gonna be using holes, so. We're gonna do that too. Uh, I don't know, y'all. You would think after doing this for the two years I've been doing it on camera, I would remember this. But apparently, I don't. I'm gonna do both sides again just for it to be smooth and that way I could pick the one I like best to use. Alright, now we 
we can let it dry and move on. Alright y'all, now that the spackle is dry and I have sanded it, I'm just going to go ahead and paint the longer board and I'm going to paint it the light blue which I picked Pool from Waverly, just to let y'all know. So, that is my first step. So let's get to it. Now, of course, y'all do not have to copy me with what I'm doing. This is the way I saw it in my head and wanted to do it. Y'all can do it whatever way y'all want to. To make it look how y'all want it to look. So don't ever, don't ever be afraid to be creative. It's never a bad thing. So just remember that. There have been quite a few projects where I've had an idea in my head and it didn't come out the way I wanted it. Like the last project I did, um, the 4th of July table decor. The way I wanted it was, I wanted the trucks to be facing the same way, but it didn't work out that way because they only had them facing one way, so not exactly what I had in mind, but I worked with it. I think it came out looking okay though, despite the fact that it wasn't exactly what I wanted. I think it still worked. So we're gonna let this dry and then we'll paint the sides and the back also. Alright y'all, now I'm going to be using wood glue, which I have in hot glue form, to glue these two together. So let's hope this works right. And there you have it. So we're going to let it dry more and then we'll move on to the next step. Now I just want to show you if you look, oops, you look there, I took a <clears throat> exacto knife and a pick from Cricut which you can get from Dollar Tree and I cleaned up the glue that overflowed so that it's nice and flat. Now you'll also see some of the paint is gone from here and because I'm putting something there, I'm not gonna worry about it, but if it looks like it's gonna show, I will repaint. So let's move on to the next step. All right, so the next step I'm gonna do is seriously, is I'm gonna take my E6000 Spray glue, you don't have to use E6 out if you have spray glue to work, but I'm using this one because this is what I have. And I'm going to spray the bottom and I'm going to 
gonna get it good and wet all the way across because this is where I'm putting the sand. Sorry y'all. I came in a spray thing but it was broke so I put it in this one and it does what it wants to do. As you can see. I'm probably gonna end up buying some more. Let's see if I can just do it like this. Because I want to get it all over. Because I want to make sure that the sand sticks. Alright. Now we're going to take my sand that I got from Dollar Tree. And I'm just going to pour it on there. And of course, you know, this is going to come off. I just want to make sure I got plenty of it on there. Alright. And there that is. And then you just clean the sand up by putting it back in the bag. <clears throat> Alright, it's dry, so we're going to move on to the next step. I'm not too worried about that. So what we're going to do is we're going to attempt to glue this lighthouse on here. Let me put it where you can see. So let's get to it. I'm trying to move as fast as I can because you know hot glue does not stay hot for long. So, you can also use a different glue. You do not have to use hot glue. If you have a glue that takes longer to dry but works just as well, use that. Alright, so we're going to be moving on to the next step. Now, I'm not sure how this is going to look, but I'm going to try it. Excuse me. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some white paint with my sponge brush. And I thought I'd just do some clouds, you know? I have no clue. I'm just trying to, you know. Alright, so we're going to do that. I hope y'all like it. I hope it reminds y'all of clouds because that's what I thought of. Now, something a little different that I did not mention that popped in my head while I was doing this, which y'all do not have to do, is I have some cotton balls. And you don't even have to put it on every one, but... Just to give it a little bit of texture too, you know, something a little extra, you can take a cotton ball and you know, like, and like I said, it doesn't have to be in every spot. You could glue a cotton ball on there to make it like a cloud. But I didn't mention this, that's why I went ahead and showed the white paint. But you know, just, just one or two spots, just to give it a little, or maybe three spots, you know. Give it a little something extra. And if you don't like it, you don't have to keep it either. After you do it, you can take it off. 
Um, I think I'm good with that. So, it's a little something extra. I'm going to stand it up so you can look at it. And then we'll move to the last step. Well, not the last step. See, doesn't that look like a cloud? I think it's cute. Let's move on to the next step, which is going to be some uh, birds. So I'm just going to freehand this and I hope y'all like it. It's just supposed to be a couple birds flying. And you don't have to do this if you don't want to. I just thought it'd be kind of cool. really just an abstract version of some birds flying. So I don't want to do too too many of them so I think I'm gonna stop there and then I'll show y'all and then we'll move on to next. So that is my background with birds flying. I hope y'all like it. Alright. Alright so now we're gonna move on to the last part. This is literally the last part. We're just gonna glue some shells on the beach. So I'm just going to take my hot glue and I'm going to just glue some shells in spots. And I really like these purple colored. So I'm going to take and I'm going to glue some of these on there too. I'm dropping things y'all. Give me a second. I dropped it. Alright, so, and I want to show the purple, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do like that so you can see the shell on both sides, inside out. And I'm just going to go around, like I said, just do a couple. I don't want too many on here because this is just supposed to be Now y'all can put as much or as little as y'all want on here, but I think less is more. So I tend to put less. So I am quite happy with this. You never know, I might go back and put more, but I really don't feel like it needs more. I feel like that's fine because you want to see the beach, you want to see the lighthouse, you got your shells. I don't know if you can see it, but I did put one. Right there in the corner, it's really small. But I am absolutely happy with this. I think it came out looking great. I love it. I hope y'all like it too. And if you do, please, please, please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below to let me know you enjoyed it because it also does help my channel to grow. And as a reminder, just to let y'all know, Friday's video is part of my two year anniversary where I'm giving out a gift box about $15 worth of stuff that I got from Dollar Tree and other places maybe even a little bit more and something that I made that I decided to give as a gift so please comment on last Friday's video the table 4th of July tabletop decor a project that y'all might like me to craft and then I will draw the names before next Friday's video, this Friday's video for winter. Alright, y'all have a good one. Bye!